Hey YouTube, it's Dave here. I have had a few days off on vacation. Haven't been making any uh, FSD beta videos other than the quick few I made before I, I went on vacation. But I have been driving a little bit, not in congested areas. Um, and the results are like I was mentioning, it is just, it is so smooth. And I wish I was recording last night, coming back from dinner with my family in the car, my father-in-law who's seen FSD beta a, a handful of times. Once when I first got it and it, it would drive drive sorry, it would drive down a straight road and be jerky. And then in December when it was a little, a little bit better, uh, some of that was gone, but it still was not smooth, you know, pulling into turn lanes, very either not doing it or, or very jerky. And it was a perfect drive from the parking lot to uh, the house. I wish I had recorded it, especially with his reaction, but I did not. So uh, I have thought of an idea that I wanted to put out there to help make these videos better, and that's waypoints. So everyone's been asking Elon for waypoints. He said at the Plaid delivery event, he fine, he'd do waypoints, but we don't have them yet. So I figured out a way uh, to do it. There's a couple ways, you know, you could have things set up in the maps here but or you could or you could just click on places when you get to the next one and go but uh, it, it, that helped take some of the planning out of there and I, I got a lot of feedback in my Washington DC video like hey why are you touching the screen so much you know should be paying attention to the road and so having to stop and, and, and do the nav is not ideal either so let's see how this works I've set up a few waypoints to take us on a, a route that's not just point A to point B, but into some neighborhoods. And I think this will be really useful once I get back to my home area and I can make some videos in uh, Northern Virginia and DC. So let's go. Um, I'm going to, let's try it. So, hey Siri, next waypoint please. One sec. That's done. So there's about a 10 second delay. Uh, if I do it soon enough, I'm going to need autopilot here. Uh, see if we can get down the street that doesn't show up. But Tesla's vision is mapping the street and figuring out how to get out there. So that's good. Now there's a turning lane. It's got a... Okay. Uh, not great. Uh, that it... I'll try and re-engage. So it sees, it knows where we're at, knows we're on the road. Okay, I don't know why, I got a quick navigate on autopilot unavailable message. But, all right, we're on the road. So. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto O Georgia Highway 96. If this works, I'll share it. Um, it won't be very useful for anyone uh, I'm using Siri shortcuts and some automations, and I kind of clutched it together. I definitely could spend more time on it and make it a more uh, polished product, but right now it relies on a couple different apps to share global variables and uh, things like that. But it works. Uh, and it won't be very useful for people without the beta because the main reason that people, I think, want waypoints for road trips is so that the car can take into account a stop including supercharging and do the, all that planning for you uh, but for the beta so I think you're gonna need way whoa okay I think you're gonna well that was weird no disengagement there but hey Siri next waypoint please So if I can get that in before, some of them I have to confirm. I'm not sure why, but if I can get that command in before we get to the destination, then the car, we don't even stop and it stays on autopilot. Uh, that was also a problem in the last version 8.2. Um, if you tried to reroute during a navigation, the car would freak out. Uh, and that, that is one thing that people do a lot of times is may change their navigation or the route may change. And so, FSD is going to need to handle that, and I'm happy to report that it seems to be doing that a little bit better. Navigate 
Now turn left onto Old Georgia Highway 96. So the next waypoint is just into the next neighborhood over, just to show that I can, you know, we can let, make the car go where we want it to go. It's not a very complicated route, but. Alright. I can't even see the right. Turn a little wide. So I'll report that, but still fairly smooth. ATV showed up as a motorcycle off the side of the road. So we know the car saw it, which is very good. Okay, would have, I would have gotten to that turning lane a little bit sooner, like right when it started. But, oh, what the heck is that? Ugh, okay. I will, sorry, re-engage. Hopefully it should wait for these cars and then go. Okay, nice. That was a little odd. I wasn't expecting that. Now turn left onto Chelsea Crossing. Hey Siri, next waypoint please. One moment. Okay. And if I didn't want it to slow down at all, if I, you know, depending on how the timing goes, I could actually use the accelerator, but I didn't. Now turn left onto Stratford Hills Drive. Okay, didn't want to stop the stop sign, but didn't want to stop. Hey Siri, next waypoint, please. That's done. So yeah, this is my first test of this, and I can see where I definitely don't want the waypoints to be too close to each other. Turn right onto Foxborough Lane. I also have a command I set up where I can have it go back to a waypoint by number, verbally. I have to kind of remember which waypoint is which to do that, but it's especially useful for starting over from the beginning. Turn right onto Chelsea Crossing. Now turn left onto Stratford Hills Drive. Alright, we got some traffic coming. speed intersection. I cannot see to the left right now. There's a car coming, but sufficient distance. Oh, that was okay, perfect. In the car, there was a big truck and it just passed behind us there. Hey Siri, next waypoint please. So I think this is going to be very useful. See, that was a perfect turn into the turn lane. We've got a flashing yellow left turn yield. Haven't really seen one of these yet on FSD9, but uh, we just hit a, uh, it all turned yellow and red. So that was good that we stopped. Um, 
in the past, the flashing yellow lights, uh, flashing yellow arrows, um, I have not seen the car go through it by itself. So far, I think I've, I've had to always use the accelerator. It's kind of hard to see. I can't, I don't know if I'll be zoom in, but there is a difference there, uh, red lights, and that is a red arrow. got brake lights on cars which is great that is gonna be so nice when the when neural nets are taking that kind of thing into account okay so all right well we didn't get a green we got the flashing yellow we're still here it says stop use accelerator or stock to continue so I am gonna use the accelerator like it said and get through the intersection and report that and then a nice quick change into the right lane because we're going to get off on this exit. That was another smooth uh, movement into the turn turn lane. Okay, Siri, next waypoint, please. One moment. That's done. This one I did set up to be a quick, uh, quick location, but again, based on where I wanted to go, if I had just put in my final destination here, then it would put us back onto that highway, which I didn't want it to do. So this is very useful. I'm gonna experiment with this one since the, the, the waypoint is uh, just after the intersection that I don't want to go this way. I want to keep going. Uh, so what I'm going to have to do is, since it's a main intersection, if I can't get that in fast enough, and although I might use the accelerator, but we'll see. Green light, left turn. Okay. Hey Siri, next waypoint, please. That's done. Alright, perfect. Oh, no, but <laughs> I did what I didn't want it to do, which is come back on this highway, because I hit the button too soon, I thought I was past it. But either way, uh, it doesn't really matter, I, I just was trying to go in a route and show you guys this new idea that I had. So, hopefully you like it. If you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. Please like my video and subscribe so that I can keep making more and you guys can see when uh, updates are out there. Thanks.